Hello there, I'm Pat Simpson. Today I'm going to show you how to build an entry level woodworking project. It's very simple to do, even the most novice do it yourself or can do it. We're going to use basic tools and you can probably even use some scrap lumber that's lying around the house. I'm going to show you how to build a flower box. Technically it's a window flower box, one that you can attach to say a garden shed or even underneath a kitchen window. Simple to do. The first thing we need to do is cut the pieces of wood to length. So what we're doing is using a miter saw, we're cutting to 24 inches, and it's not necessary to use a square when using a miter saw because the miter saw is going to make a square cut across there anyway. Just line it up to the mark. There. And you've got a nice square cut. Now we're going to use the table saw to make the bevel cuts. The reason we need that is because the bottom of the planter box and the front of the planter box are not a 90 degree angle because we want the front of the box to tilt away from the house. Therefore the bottom has to have a bevel cut along this edge. Now we've taken the blade guard off of the table saw so that you can see the cut more clearly, but typically there's a blade guard on the table saw and if you have one you should keep your blade guard on there for safety purposes. Eye protection and ear protection. So as you can see that bevel cut is smooth all the way down 15 degrees and then the front of the box will be skewed outward just the way we want it. Now this is the front of the planter box and because it's going to be skewed out that means we need to also bevel the top edge of this so it'll be flat across the top and the bottom edge of this so that it's flush with the bottom of the planter box. So I'm going to bevel this edge and this edge once again using the table saw. And what you'll see is you have parallel angles on each side. This is the front of the planter box. Okay, so now the first three of only five pieces of this project are cut. And the way that it will fit together is like so. And the bevel cuts on the table saw worked well. And you see now why we had to do those bevel cuts so that you get a, an angle along here that leans away from the house. We've got a nice tight fit. So what we'll do now is lay a bead of glue inside here and fasten it using a pneumatic nailer. Now when you do this you'll want to use a waterproof glue and as you run the glue make sure you have a nice solid bead, not too much, but if you do once you fasten the pieces together then all you have to do is wipe it off with a rag. So we've got the glue in because it's going to be in the weather 100% of the time. Now we're going to use our nailer and we've got the safety glasses on when using power tools. And if you don't have a pneumatic nailer, that's not a problem. This is a very simple project. You'll just use a hammer with some finished nails. Same thing on the other side. Another bead of glue all the way down. and then slide it over to the edge. Now I'm using an inch and a half long finish nails in the nailer. And there we are. The first three pieces are assembled. Now we need to cut two more pieces, uh, one for each end. Got some wood left over. Now this is so easy to do. All you have to do is get the remaining piece of wood. Try to make your cuts away from these knots if you can. So I'm going to turn it this way. Flush it up along the back, trace it, same thing on the other end, flush it up there, then we'll take this to the saw and cut it out. Now 
Okay, now we have the last two pieces cut for either end. And we'll go here and like so. Now we're going to do the same thing here that we did on the sides. We'll run a bead of glue and nail these. The only difference is I'm going to lift it up this way because you may have to spread the wood just a bit to make it fit properly. And then make sure we have a flush fit on one side. Nice tight fit here, here, and here along the bottom. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. And you're good to go. Okay, so now what we need to do is sand it down smoothly along any rough edges. And we'll do that with a belt sander with about an 80 grit belt on there. next step that we need to complete is drilling some holes through the bottom of the planter box so that as it rains and you water the plants, the moisture can go all the way through and drain out the bottom. You don't want it settling in the box. To do that, we're going to use a paddle bit on an electric drill. It's a 5 8 inch bit, a uh, half inch hole or so is large enough. So we'll drill about three or four holes in the bottom so the moisture can drain all the way through. We're going to lay the planter on top of a scrap piece of wood, number one, so we don't damage the workbench, but also so when you drill through, it makes a cleaner cut on the bottom. So we'll do this about four times all the way through. Now these pilot holes will be where we're going to put the screw through when we get it to the area to mount the box. Now think about this, when you put your potting soil in, you don't want all of your soil to be wasted through these weep holes. So use a piece of aluminum screening or as we're using a piece of fabric screening, just lay it in the bottom of the box over those holes and when you put your potting soil in, the weight of that will hold the screen in place. Put your plants in, put it on the house, water it and you're good to go. Now that we've done all that, all that's left to do to finish the box is to prime it, coat all sides inside and out with a, a latex primer, let that dry, and then you can paint it the color that you want to match the house or wherever you're going to place it. Let that paint dry, put your soil in, plant it, and enjoy your simply made window box.